There's no AI news I want to talk about this week, so I'm going to review seminal research that I'm passionate about. Huh? System dynamics, in shorthand, is the study of how things interact with each other. This field of study was popularized by J.W. Forrester, a computer scientist that invented a precursor to modern RAM. Forrester's work was cited as one of the influences for early simulation games, and specifically the original SimCity. It begins with discussing the common nature of feedback loops in the world, and how even filling a glass of water is more involved than the mere flow. Often, the systems studied are much more complicated though. These maps, formal or not, are a natural part of the world. With every decision that's made, there's conditions that are considered and actions that are taken. And these maps attempt to model the thought process of mental decision making. You can probably see why this is a big topic in AI and neural networks because we need to explain to a computer how to think. But this idea doesn't only apply to computers. John Sturman, the current director of MIT System Dynamics Group, has applied systems thinking to business management and other widely applicable systems. System dynamics isn't all theoretical though. To create accurate models, there is a level of mathematical methodology in computer science that needs to be applied. It's a lot of stock and flow models and simulations that ignore the laws of conservation of matter and energy aren't good models. I like this field of study because I think it gives insights on how to make better decisions, and I've got a hunch that if we can explain how things make decisions, then it'll help lead us to a toe. Thanks for watching till the end. Bye.